Today we're going to be taking an 8 inch face mill in and doing some 3 plus 2 finishing work on the flat faces of our part. So when you take a look at the front face of this part, you'll see that we have these round bosses all over the place. Most people, when they go in to finish this entire flat face, they're going to look for the biggest tool they can fit between these two close bosses. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in with this big face mill and we're going to come around those bosses. That way we get the minimum amount of tool marks possible. Then we're going to come in with an end mill and just finish the stuff that we couldn't reach with the face mill. When we come in with our end mill initially, we're going to stay at least a thou away from the finished surface. And the reason that we're going to do that is because we want to creep in slowly so that we can get a perfect match between those two surfaces. Now that we've done our finished machining with both the 8 inch face mill and the inch and a quarter end mill, we're going to come in with our indicator and we're going to check the mismatch between the face mill face and the end mill face. Alright, so you can see when we check this mismatch, we're getting about 5 tenths. And that's not quite close enough, so we're going to come back in with that end mill and we're just going to rerun it. We're not going to make any adjustments to the length of the tool, and now that there's not as much tool pressure, hopefully we'll take off that 5 tenths and be closer to perfect. Now remember, Ellison is selling this machine off of our floor at a huge discount. Alright, so now we're checking our mismatch again after rerunning that tool. And you can see that we're closer to one or two tenths, which is exactly where we want to be. Alright, so as far as the surface finish requirement goes on this part, we need to hit a 32 or better. You may be able to see these cutter marks on the part, and you're never going to get away from that. But our goal is to minimize them. So we're going to check our surface finish right over those cutter marks. Checking our surface finish right over those cutter marks ended up giving us a 19 finish, and that exceeds our criteria for our 32 finish. Now we're going to check our surface finish in a few other locations to make sure that we're getting consistent results, and then we're going to check our other finished features on this part. I'm really happy with the way these surfaces came out. We got very little mismatch between our two different tool paths. This is really where years of experience comes into play. You know, we backed that end mill off by a thou, and rather than coming back and taking a thou off of our tool, all we did is rerun it in exactly the same position, and it ended up taking that five tenths out and giving us a perfect blend. So little things like that can save you guys a whole lot of time and guarantee you success in your processes. In addition to exceeding our surface finish requirements, we also hit all of our finished dimensions. If you guys liked our video today, please like and subscribe. Check out our online store and academy, and I'll talk to you guys again next time.